We have a big game coming up in Division A in this maze race, as we will have Purple Swirl and Bronco play in this game. Well, Bronco could have clinched this division with a win, but Water Swirl did get the victory against Swampline, so Water Swirl is still in the race. Bronco, if he wins this game, he will go up to 4-1 and one and will have a one-game lead in the division. Purple Swirl has lost his last two games. He needs this win badly to stay alive in this maze race playoff running, much less the um, Division A championship. But yeah, Purple Swirl wins this game, then we will have three marbles in this division, all at three and two. But Bronco, he just wants to go up to four and one and make it a much more better shot of him winning the division. But let's go over to the uh, Division A standings right here. So as you can see with the Water Swirl win against Swampland, he gets bumped up to three and two. So Bronco will not clinch the division with a win, but his chances will be very high if he were to win this game but if he loses then between these top three marbles right here it's going to be a crazy ride in round six but anyway let's begin this game right now all right this maze race game is now about to begin purple swirl in the red funnel first on the first point purple swirl one nothing lead for him number seven in the tournament and now number four in the tournament bronco will tie the game up at one all right, third point now we're underway. This is a crucial third point, and Bronco will take the 2-1 to one lead. He's one point away from going up to 4-1. and one. Will he do that? Purple Swirl on the fourth point. Purple Swirl ties the game up, and we're going into a fifth point in this game. This is a big fifth point. The winner will be Purple Swirl. Purple Swirl goes up to 3-2, and two. Bronco will go down to 3-2, and two. and Water Swirl is also sitting at 3-2. and two. We have three marbles in Division A that are 3-2, and two, and it's going to be a crazy ride in Round 6. So Bron Bronco will play against the 1-4 and four Swampland. Now Swampland is already eliminated, so Swampland will just try to get one final game in, and hopefully it'll be a positive ending for him, but I don't think Bronco wants that. Purple Swirl play against Water Swirl in round six. As always, you can go click the link in the description, Maze Race Setup, to see the whole schedule and the standings for every single division. But anyway, now let's take a look at what the Division A standings look like as of right now. So as you can see, three marbles, three and two. Purple Swirl gets bumped up into first place in the division. We have Water Swirl at second place. Bronco is at third. So they have the point differentials are playing a little bit of a key factor for all marbles. Purple Swirl has a plus three point differential, Water Swirl has plus two, and Bronco has plus one. So that's what separates the three marbles. But anyway, we're going to see some good games in round six here in Division A, so be prepared for that. Anyway, I will see y'all later for some more games coming up.